personal. You and your feeling for no reason, bro. You built your own hatred off looking at me. What's wrong with you? God bless you, bro. I ain't God bless. I don't gotta hurt you, God will. You heard me like, what? Shit, the devil was around you himself. He turned out, he tried to step on God, told to be him. Man, right, boy, get your ass up out of here. You can't stop what God built, bro. That's personal. You and your feeling for no reason, bro. You built your own hatred off looking at me. Welcome back, Vibe Tribe. It's your boy Mickey Made it. On today's episode, we're talking about something that's very telling on social media. Have you ever posted a happy pic online to mask your real life unhappiness? The more miserable you are in real life, the happier you are in social media. In simple terms, the grass really isn't greener. See, social media is the fastest medium to allow people to publicly share their thoughts, feelings, and lives along with others and has increasingly become inauthentic. From the rise of fake news to the rise of bots, fake followers, and their trolls, it's hard to know whom or what or where to trust. See, people who don't have a perfect life are projecting their luxury cars or vacation times they have, but their parents have been joined old age homes are managed by maids, or their spouses are leaving apart, or their kids hating them. So I ask myself the question, why do people fake happiness on social media? A picture perfect life does not exist, but a picture perfect does, and anyone can take one. How often have you seen happy looking photos by persons on Instagram having the perfect and joyful life we all dream about? Too many, I know. Fake happiness is a term used to describe when someone posts content on social media sites that do not represent their true feelings. The idea is that the person's happiness may be fake or superficial because they try to make others feel better about themselves. There's no need to hide your real life unhappiness on social media. Social media is only one aspect of your life. See the difference between a real life and a social media life? Have you ever opened an old photo album? You have probably noticed that it's full of happy moments from birthdays, trips, and more. Looking at photos, you may think that life is perfect because they capture only the happy moments. But we know that this is not always the case. In modern times, these albums have been digitalized and are available to anyone who owns a mobile phone and the internet. So you can easily fool yourself into thinking someone looks perfect or lives a perfect life by only looking at photos of happy moments. See, real life is not always as easy as it appears on social media. People are more serious about social media, which can lead to judgmental attitudes. Social media websites are a place where people can feel validated by likes and shares, you know, they get. You will never know what you will find on social media without scrolling through it first. It's an endless pit of entertainment and information with no end in sight. And this is why many of us use social networks such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. to share our daily activities with friends and family members. But still, it's crucial to distinguish the difference between real friends and social media friends. How does social media negatively impact people, fake happy people? Well, social media has become one of the most essential parts of modern society. We all have at least one account for each social media platform we use. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, TikTok, Reddit, the list goes on. The problem arises when these social platforms start influencing how we live our lives. For example, if someone wants to lose weight or gain muscle mass, they may post pictures of eating healthy foods or exercising regularly. Online sharing of successes became a necessity for people, otherwise they felt as if their lives had been wasted and they were excluded from the success sharing community. This on the other hand can cause serious mental health and life issues for the person. It's proven that obsessive social media usage and increased interaction with technology is resulting in anxiety, decreased self-confidence and depression. The state of depression can also lead to other dangerous activities like alcohol and drug abuse. And trust me, Vibe Tribe, it's all downhill from there. See, we often forget what truly matters in our life and how real people function and try to look fabulous on social platforms. 
see a lot of people, they look up to these celebrities and famous influencers and they want to mirror the online identity to make them an ideal online person. So the biggest question is why do people fake their happiness on social media? 